Hey y'all, it is Susan and it is Saturday, Sunday morning. It's about 9 o'clock a.m., 9 a.m. And uh, I'm going to be working on the Fairy Bell um, stationery box. And today we're going to work on the notepads. We're going to pretty much try to get most of it done. I got the um, O-ring for the book. And I also already tried to save some time. To not bore y'all horribly, but I did go through the scraps that I had and cut some pieces that we can use on the cards. I let me see what I got here. Okay, I've got these little cards. These are so cute. These little baby cards. Let me grab them all. Um, all right. So I got these little cards from Michael's in that little bin where you buy all the little dollar stamps and that kind of thing. And these are just little cute little baby cards. They're tiny. And they are purple. And uh, that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. I also had some of these David Tutera glitter cards that I've used in my other some of my other videos. Uh, this is the card right here. Y'all know I love my bling and my glitter. Uh, so I already cut up some of my scraps and we're going to just, we're going to make very simple note cards. They're not going to be extravagant at all. These cards already have envelopes, so I don't have to worry about making envelopes because y'all know how I feel about that. <laughs> so very simple. Um, so I just need my ATG gun. And we are going to whip these out in a hot minute. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Alright, so yeah, I know I've been a little missing in action this week. It's been a little bit of a busy week for me. Uh, work, we had our 15-year celebration this week. We had a big to-do on Friday. I couldn't be there because I'm a remote technician, so, but... Okay, let's make sure that's going on there. But uh, I, I think it turned out really nice. Um, the company that I work for, basically, it was, uh, you know, founded or or built by uh, just, you know, a guy. <laughs> and he's an amazing guy. And he started out as a very small business for with about, I think he had a couple of techs that he worked with, which one of them was my, is my, my immediate boss. Uh, who's the vice president of the company. So it's really exciting. We've grown so much in 15 years. Went from a four-person, I mean, I don't know how many people. It might have been just two and then turned to four. But uh, right now, gosh, I think we have, I'm not sure the exact number of employees that we have, but uh, it's it's like got to be getting close to, it's in the upper 20s between 20, 30 people. Uh, there's a lot of texts and, um, you know, office staff and that kind of thing. So he's done really great. Um, every year we, uh, or most years, we do receive awards for, you know, growing every year within the city where my business is located, the one that I work for. So uh, we, uh, not to mention, you know, my boss or the owner of my company, he's a philanthropist and we get awards for that too. He's an amazing person. But anyway, so that was a pretty big deal. And um, I, I wasn't really totally busy with that completely, but um, I did have to watch the phones on Friday and uh, uh, I had other various uh you know, responsibilities that I had to do. So it was, it was a busy week for us. So I couldn't really, and I was plus, plus I was having problems with my computer. Yes, I'm an IT person and I still have problems with my computer. So, um, look how gorgeous that is. So simple, so gorgeous. Oh, this paper, y'all, is just so beautiful. Anyway, so yeah, my movie maker crashed on me as usual. Oh, you know, I did not ink my edges. I wonder if I should do that. I probably should. We'll leave the other one as it is because it looks,
So I just put a little bit on the wings. So hopefully when those dry, those will be really sparkly. So I bought this. And this actually should work. So I'm not completely done, but I am going to take this out and measure it. And um, yeah, see this is much bigger already. And let's just get this out of there. I do have them in a specific order because I have the paper the paper in each little booklet is a certain color um, and they alternate so I'm going to try to keep them in the same order and so this one is oh just to give you an idea this is the one inch and that is the three fourths of an inch so it is much bigger I do want to, uh, I'm going to look at something real quick because I do want to specify which alphabet these individual books are for. So I need to figure that out and I will be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. And um, I bought this a while ago at, I think I got this at either Sam's or Costco's. And I can't imagine that I paid more than $10 for it. And it's a whole box of 100, how many, how many do we have in here? What does it remember? Um... A hundred letter size folders, file folders, and they're in all different colors. They're Smeed. Um, so there's pink, and there's craft, and there's purple, and there's blue and green. I mean, there's like all kinds of different colors. Um, just a really neat purchase. And I didn't purchase them with anything particular in mind. However, um, I think, y'all know where I'm going with this, right? Um, I think I'm going to use them on this project. And you're wondering, how in the world is she going to do that? Well, I think I need six of these. Let me see. I wonder how cute it would be to, um, to alternate the colors. Since I do have a little bit of purple going on. I wonder how strange that purple is. Hmm. I don't know. We will contemplate that. But anyway, you get this whole stack of different colored files. Um, and I think it was well worth the buy, though this is the first time that I'm using it. And the reason I got this, y'all, and I'm going to do one real soon, but I did purchase that tutorial uh, for, um, oh gosh, what's her name? Oh gosh, I can't remember her name. The lap book, uh, the lap book tutorial. It's kind of like a mini, it can be a mini album, but she refers to it as a lap book. Oh, why can't I remember her name? Um, anyway, so in that, I did one of those lap books, uh, for my daughter-in-law. Uh, I did a Disney one for when they came down to Disney. We got them Disney tickets last year and they came down this spring and went to Disney. And so I did a Disney, um, which I didn't share with y'all. That was before I was really doing the videos regularly, but, um, I did a, a, a Disney one for her and uh, it turned out really great so I had to actually I didn't have any file folders so I actually made them from scratch from uh, from cardstock it actually is a heavier material than cardstock uh, if you go to Joann's you can get the chipboard pieces they have the three different styles of chipboard the craft which is a medium chipboard and then it comes with the black and the white which is a lightweight chip chipboard and I used that black lightweight chipboard because the base of the book was black but anyway so long story short that's why I bought these and I am going to do another one and that very well could be my next book though I bought those six by six uh, romantic novel romance novel uh, prima paper and uh, I'm feeling a six by six mini album for that but we'll see Anyway, so I have these, and what, and I need to have divisions for my alphabet. And I was thinking that instead of trying to do tabs, and these tabs are quite large. Um, hmm. They are very large. 
I don't dislike it by any means, but they're larger. But you know what? I don't care. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them to the same width as these so that when I punch my holes, um, I can do it the same way that I punched my holes and they'll line up that, that I did on here. So this is, oh, I knew what it was, but I was just double checking it. Seven by four exactly. Um, so I'm going to cut these to be seven by four and, um, yeah, I'm just going to cut some and I'll be back and then we'll see what we have. We'll see if it will work. I'll be right back y'all. All right, y'all, I am back and let me see here. I've got this all mixed up. I'm sure of it. Where am I? Oh, right here. Okay. So what I did was I took those file folders and I took four end pieces and I cut them at four and a half by seven. My cover is four and a quarter and, or no, my, my cover is actually four and a half. Let me make sure here. Yeah, four and a half. So that'll sit in there like that. And then my book is, so that, that much of the tab will be showing, um, which I'm okay with. We'll make that work. Okay. So I have all, I cut all of my tabs and then I cut a middle one and I've actually already traced this because uh, the tab is really long as you can see and it, it looks strange to me um, so what I did is I just cut that middle tab down just a little bit so that it fits in between the different the between the front and the back tab basically um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the last middle tab I only have two middle tabs I'm going to trace this right here and then cut this part off. And I just use my my round punch to, to round my edges because my edges were sharp on this side because I cut some of that tab off too. I cut the tab to the length that I wanted, basically, or thought that I wanted. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of just doing this, so there is no method. Oh. You know, these, I love these pencils, but they break. Okay, um, there is not any science to what we're doing right now. <laughs> There's not a plan, a predetermined plan. So basically just cut that, and I'm going to fussy cut it right off. And I'm not really worried about rounding that edge because I'm going to use my round punch, um, my round corner punch. And I'm just going to try to cut this to the best of my ability. It's not perfect, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to take this and stick that in there to the best of my ability and punch it. I've got to go shut my dog up, y'all. She's out there barking. I'll be right back. Okay. She's crazy. What can I say? All right, so I just rounded that off with my little round punch there. And so I have six of these. So basically... I feel like I've got ink on there or something on here. All right. All right, so I'm going to alternate the colors. So it'll be... I'm going to start with purple since my cover is blue. And I'm going to put this one here. Put this one here. Yeah, here we go. That goes there. And that goes there. The links are not perfect. But I, I'm okay with that. I can deal with that. So that's basically what we're dealing with there. And then this one will go here. The middle one will go here. And the bottom one will go here. Okay. Alright, so there's our, our uh, dividers. And then we are going to... punch these because this is exactly how they're going to go in there so we're ready to punch those let me see here I'm just uh, making it flush here with the side which is how I did the other pages I may have to stand up y'all and then I don't have my little thingy out so
there's a little thingy that pulls out that makes it much easier. <laughs> I always do things the hard way. All right, and then we'll just put that there. So hopefully that looks okay. So hopefully that will be okay. Right. I have quite the mess going, y'all. All right. So I'm just going to test it real quick. I'm pretty sure this will work. This should be fine. It looks, I'm just uh, matching it up to this book and just making sure everything looks okay. And that looks, that looks good. It lined up fine. All right. And then I am going to ink my edges since I inked my edges on everything else in the book. I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges. All right. Now we can relax a little bit. We've got the hard part done. Uh, I think I'm going to round that corner also. There we go. So now that looks a lot cleaner. Okay. So I hope y'all are having a good day so far. I'm excited. I think we're going to finish this up today. And this was only, if we finish this up, it'll be nine, nine or ten videos. So that's not too bad. <laughs> Um, they have a tendency to take a while. Um, it does take a little bit of time to edit and all that kind of stuff. Get your videos uploaded and um, you have a lot of that in-between time. So it takes a little longer to get your projects done is what I'm trying to say. Alright, and I'm just going to round this edge. Oh, that's not exactly what I want. The, um, there we go. I'm trying to keep them in the right order, just so I don't have to refigure it out. Alright, I know y'all are going to get a lot of video uploads today. I got a lot of stuff done. And then I still have to decide which project we're going to do next. Um, I don't know yet. It's either going to be a 6x6 six six mini album, or you know what, I might do that little tea box that I got from Saw Crafters, because that'll be a nice quick project, and I can take that one off my, off my list, and my husband can use it for his tea bags in the morning, though he is very low maintenance, but <laughs> I think it's cute, so... Alright, so I'm just trying to put them back in the right order. That punch, you know, I don't have a lot of punches. I have a few punches, a few edge punches, and um, a few, you know, just a, like, a, you know, butterfly punch and a flower punch, maybe two of those. I have very few punches, but I found that there is one punch that you must have if you're not into punches like me. I mean, I like all punches, don't get me wrong. It's just I don't like to spend so much money on all these different punches, especially when I have a brother cut and scan, and I can do what I need to do there. Um, it would just be um, silly to spend that money, honestly. Um, so... Um, but I do find that this punch is necessary, and it's just the round edge punch. Um, if you don't have that one, you'll you'll definitely miss that one. And that actually allows you to change the looks of your books. You know, your mini albums. You know, you can have different style, or you can have like the same style and do it five times. And if you can round your edges on one book and leave them straight on the next book. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna make your album look different. So, um, that's another cool thing about it, is it can really change the way something looks. Alright, let me punch that. Alright. 
and I'm not being overly neat with this. I don't think it really matters, but since I did do this throughout most of the project, it makes sense. Okay. All right, we are done with that ink. And we have our, so this is what we have so far. Okay. And now what we are gonna do is I had that piece of paper that has my alphabet, which I have been using for embossing, so it is quite glittery. And it's glitter everywhere. So there's my letters. And I am thinking I will use, uh oh, what did I do with my letters? I just had them. And you know, um, not to get off subject, but I do have a bunch of this file folder stuff left, but I will keep this because this will work in a junk journal. I'll probably throw the small ones away, though you can use those in a junk journal as well. But since I have so many scraps, I'm going to go ahead and let those go. And then I'm just going to put, I'll put this back in the file folder there. Bucks. Okay, what did I do with my letters? Oh, I always misplace stuff. I just opened them. Um, oh, I see them. I'll be right back. Alright. I think I'm going to use the smaller letters. Um, this is another thing I don't buy a lot of. So I could cut them from my brother's scan and cut. At the, the right size to fit there. Or I could just use these super sparkly things. <laughs> And y'all know how I roll. All right. This has a little. And I think I'll just put that in the middle. I might need to glue that down because that may not be strong enough. big so let's see how we feel about it hmm it's not overly it's not really working for me y'all I don't think it is which bums me because I really like these sparkly letters but I will use them on another project for sure these are right up my sparkly alley, so. <laughs> All right, we'll just put these over here for now. And I do have, I have some blue, but they're a dark blue. Um, I think these may be too blue. Yeah, they're not the right blue. Though they are the right size, they're not the right blue. Let me dig in my letters. Let me see what I've got, and I will be right back. <laughs> 